5. So this is problem number 6 on uh, centroid of the plane figures. So this problem contains total 3 components. Okay. So here the reference axis, reference axis is given in the problem. Okay. So here it is given. this is reference x axis and this is reference v axis okay so you can see that uh, the semicircle semicircle is coming in second quadrant second quadrant semicircle is coming in second quadrant in second quadrant x is negative y is positive remember and this right angle uh, the rectangle and the right angle triangle both are coming in first quadrant there we don't have any issue both are positive only x and y okay but when it comes to the semicircle semicircle lying in the second quadrant where x is negative and y is positive keep it in mind now i will divide the figure into three components okay i will take this as uh, semicircle as component number 1 right, uh, rectangle as component number 2 and right angle triangle as component number 3 okay and even i will write the formula centroidal formula if i take g1 as centroid of semicircle okay what is the formula here 4r by 3 pi distance of g1 from diameter Distance of centered from the diameter is always 4 by 3 pi and distance from the end point is always equal to radius. Radius. Okay. And for rectangle 2, if I take G2 as centered, formula R, B by 2 from its side and D by 2 from its base. And here, right angle triangle if i take g3 as centroid c the distance is going from the line from the line means this is the line okay from the line so it is one third of distance b by 3 and even with respect to a y bar also distance is going from the line so it is h by 3 h by 3 okay i have written all the formulae now now we will start doing the calculation. First component is what? Semicircle. Write that. Semicircle 1. So area of semicircle is half of the area of the circle. Area of the circle is pi r square divided by 2 will give area of the semicircle. So pi into radius of the semicircle is given as 2.25 millimeter here. 2.25 square by 2 okay the area of the semicircle that you get is 7.95 okay then coming to the x value as i said before semicircle is lying in second quadrant sign is negative be careful okay depending upon the quadrant in which the component is lying you need to apply the sign you should be very careful here so sign is negative for semicircle x is negative so x is nothing but it is distance of g1 from reference y axis it is directly 4 r by 3 pi minus 4 r by 3 pi which is equal to 4 sorry which is equal to minus 4 into radius is 2.25 by 3 pi the answer is minus 0 0.9 double five coming to the y value means distance of g1 from reference x axis it is directly equal to radius right 2.25 millimeter then we will take second component rectangle rectangle number two area of rectangle is b into d therefore b width of rectangle is 6 mm and what is the depth of the rectangle see depth of the rectangle is not given in this problem you have to find it how to find see 
depth of the rectangle is equal to diameter of the semicircle. Radius of the semicircle is given as 2.25 mm. So 2.25 is the radius into 2 will give diameter that is 4.5 mm. Okay. So that, that will give 4.5 mm as diameter of the semicircle which in turn equal to depth of the rectangle. Okay. 4.5 mm is the depth of the rectangle. Therefore, here 4.5. The answer is 27. 27 mm square. Then coming to the x value for rectangle. Rectangle. Which is nothing but distance of G2 from reference y axis. Reference y axis. Directly it is B by 2. Directly it is B by 2 b by 2 and it is plus b by 2 because rectangle and both uh, rectangle and the uh, right angle triangle are lying in the first quadrant x and y are positive b by 2 uh, it is 6 divided by 2 6 by 2 we will get the answer as 3 mm then y value for rectangle 2 means distance of g2 from reference x axis directly it is d by 2 d by 2 4.5 by 2 is equal to 2.25 mm or else you can directly take radius as 2.25 then we will do the calculation for right angle triangle now right angle triangle 3 right angle triangle 3 for right angle means for triangle we know the formula it is half into base into height so half into base of rectangle triangle is 3 mm and height is 4.5 mm only 4.5 mm only same height as that of uh, rectangle 4.5 the answer is 6.75 coming to the x value means x value for rectangle triangle means distance of g3 from reference y axis from here to here this distance that is the x value for right angle triangle so it is 6 plus p by 3 ok 6 plus p by 3 6 plus b by 3 which is equal to 6 plus b is base width of the right angle triangle 3 mm 7 millimeter Okay, then coming to the y value for rectangle 3, distance of G3 from reference x axis, directly it is h by 3, h by 3, h, height of rectangle triangle is 4.5 by 3, we will get the answer as 1.5 mm, okay, now ax, 7.95 to 0.955, it is minus 7.59, here it is 17.88 means 7.95 into 2.25 ay value and for rectangle 81 and 60.75 then for right angle triangle 47.75 and 10.125 calculate the total area total area that you get is 41.7 then sigma ax is equal to 120.66 sigma ay is equal to 88.755 okay so you may get difference in one or two digits in the answers don't worry you will get the final answer same only x bar and the y bar we know that x bar is equal to sigma ax by sigma a sigma ax is 120.66 by 41.7 the answer is 2.89 millimeter and y bar is equal to formula is sigma ay by sigma a 
it is 88.755 divided by 41.7 the answer is 2.129 millimeter 2.129 millimeter okay so this completes the problem so if you have got uh, if you have got any doubts in solution of this particular problem you can post your comment in the comment section and clarify the doubt thank you